A warm welcome to AD4 TV Radio News Update, coming to you live from Abuja, Nigeria's capital territory. I am Gracious Ogun. Health sector regulator in Brazil and Visa on Friday approved clinical trials of a potential COVID-19 vaccine developed by China. The study, which was first announced on June 11, is headed by Instituto Buntata, a research center founded by the state of Sao Paulo. Brazil's agreements with China include not only trials, but also the interference of technology to produce the potential vaccine locally. Brazil so far has a total of 1.54 million confirmed cases, 916,000 recoveries, and 63,254 deaths. France is successfully convicted as first Islamist militant for crimes committed in Syria. The 30-year-old terrorist, Tyler Villiers, is a French citizen who converted to Islam and traveled out to fight for the Islamic State. He was sentenced to 30 years in prison by a Paris court on Friday. Villas was arrested in Turkey five years ago and route Prague to lead the squad of gunmen and suicide bombers who attacked Paris in November 2015. And in Nigeria, the Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamu, has ordered a posting and redeployment of senior police officers in line with the presidential approval for a reshuffle in the police force. The presidential approval includes the creation of an additional department, the Directorate of Intelligence, expansion of the police zonal structure from 12 to 17, and the creation of two additional first criminal investigative department annexes. Still in Algeria, the governor of Benry State, Samuel Otum, on Friday announced that his wife, Eunice Otum, his son, and some of his wife's staff have tested positive for COVID-19. Ortem said the first lady has gone into self-isolation with her son and all affected staff. Benry State confirmed its index case on the 28th of March and now has 65 cases, 30 recoveries and one death. Similarly, Governor of Ondo State, Nigeria, Rotimi Akeredolu, who tested positive for COVID-19 recently, has declared that there is no vacuum in the governance of the state, foreclosing the possibilities of handing over to his deputy, Agbola Ajayi, the governor has allayed fears of residents over the increasing cases of COVID-19 in the state and assured them that efforts are in top gear to win the battle against the virus. Akaradolu is currently in self-isolation and has directed his cabinet members and other aides to also get tested. We take a break now. When we return, COVID-19 cases hit 11 million globally. Stay with us. Details coming shortly. A housewarming is a party held to celebrate moving to a new house. The origin of this word goes thus. A long time ago, before the 1800s, when central heating was invented in the Western world, housewarming was a tradition where invited guests gathered in a new house, contributing firewood to burn in the fireplace and warm the house up. Welcome back. You're watching 84 TV Radio News Updates. The global tally of COVID-19 cases has exceeded 11 million as of Friday, marking another milestone in the spread of the disease that has killed more than half a million people in seven months. The World Health Organization said the number of cases has more than doubled the figure for severe influenza illnesses recorded annually. Of a total of 11 million confirmed cases across the globe, 5.83 million patients have recovered, with 524,000 casualties. Saudi Arabia has extended government measures to mitigate the economic impact of the coronavirus pandemic in the country. King Salman has ordered an extension of the government initiatives for an unspecified additional period. He said this would build on urgent government measures that support individuals, investors and private businesses, as well as alleviate financial and economic consequences of the coronavirus. So far, Saudi Arabia has reported more than 194,000 coronavirus cases, the largest number in the Arab world, and 1,698 deaths. The police in Enugu State, Nigeria, has arrested Ifoma Eziogu for physically assaulting 10-year-old Chinoyen Nadi by drilling nails into her head. The woman also allegedly pressed the hot electric iron all over the body of the minor who works for her as a domestic help. Director of the Women's Aid Collective, Joy Ngazi, who said her office would notify about the incident on Friday, described it as evil and horrific. 
She added that the police and the state have started an investigation into the matter and demanded that the right measures be taken to apprehend the culprits. And that's it on 84 TV radio news updates coming to you live from Abuja, Nigeria's capital. You can join the conversation on our website at www.84tvradio.com. Please follow us on our social media platforms at 84 TV Radio on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn and Instagram. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel at 84 TV Radio. Many thanks for watching. I am Gracious Ogoni.